Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. You guys ask me all the time where I get my tarantula enclosures. So today I am going to be taking you to five different stores that I go to to get tarantula enclosures. So first up, we are going to go to just a regular pet store called Tropical World Pets and I'll show you a few options there. But as we go on, I'll show you more affordable options for different enclosures. So yeah. First up, I'm gonna show you some more traditional options. So these are all designed for small pets. I've used this breeding box and I very much enjoy those, but of course there are critter keepers, which are very popular because they're super inexpensive. I think they range from like five to $10. Some of the larger ones are more costly. And then there are other brands that make a similar thing to the critter keepers. These are Exoterra. And also Exoterra makes these glass enclosures, which you can get in different sizes, but the mini ones work perfectly fine for tarantulas. So next we are going to go to the Dollar Tree. So of course everything at Dollar Tree is a dollar and they have a lot of good options for tarantulas. They are just typical storage containers. So like treats for your dog, things like that. If you just poke some holes in them, they're like perfectly fine to have a tarantula. They also have these little bins that I know people use, but I don't necessarily trust these specific kinds because the lids actually come off really easy. So you wanna be really careful about that, but it is appropriate. And then there are also other food storage options. So you can get like a whole bunch of those for a dollar. These would make great sling pots. You could also consider doing that for your smaller slings. And I also recommend these other containers that you can try. So this is a bigger option for a juvenile, maybe even an adult if it's a smaller species. So that would be terrestrial. And then this would be a good arboreal option. Option. Another really great store to find tarantula enclosures at is Hobby Lobby. So this is a very popular option. Just a pro tip though, they have an app that you can download and you can get 40% off of any item every week. So that is how I buy my enclosures and save money. These are personally some of my favorite terrestrial enclosures to use and they have a whole bunch of different size options. They're pretty inexpensive already. And like I said, you can also use that app to get 40% off of any item per week. So you can get the them to be even more inexpensive. I also really like to use these for larger juveniles. Like I've been using the Critter Keepers a lot lately, but if you wanna keep some humidity in there, these are like an incredible option for that because you have total control over how many holes you poke in it. You can also go to the jewelry storage area and there's a lot of smaller containers. So if you want something for slings, these are also really perfect for the super teeny tiny ones. Next up, we have the Container Store, which is my favorite place to find arboreal and Closures. So they sell Amok boxes, which are super inexpensive. I think they range from like 79 cents to maybe like four or five dollars for the largest one. If you want a pretty color, you do have that option. But yeah, I just really love these because they are like a perfect thickness of acrylic and also they are super see-through and clear. The container store also has a lot of good options for storage containers, obviously. So if you don't really care about how see-through your enclosure is, these are really good options they're super inexpensive and these lids are a little bit more secure than the dollar tree one you also have a lot more size options so if you have other animals like leopard geckos or anything like that there's the bigger ones that you could use for them and then they also have shoebox containers. So these aren't very expensive at all and they're super see-through. You also can poke holes in them to control humidity, making them a great option as well. Okay, so we are now at Target and we're gonna look at their enclosures as well. So for those who don't have Hobby Lobby or the container store around them, Target is a really good option. You can go to their storage container area and find a variety of sizes. You can get these packs for like five bucks where you get like four or five containers, which is a good deal. And then they also have a whole bunch of different colors. They have the regular option, which is like two bucks. Now the nicer acrylic options are going to be in their food storage area, which I really like these, but they are super thick. These are some of my favorites. You guys ask me all the time where I got some of my enclosures and it was Target and they have them. So mine have blue lids, but they came back with white lids. I really like how the lids are made though. They stack really well. And then also they sell this giant plastic canister set. Oh, Oh my gosh, I wish. Like, look how many you get. I really like the look of their sets, and this is a really nice one too for like $11, so that's cool. I'm really picky about how the plastic is, so I personally prefer Target if I'm gonna go like the food storage container route, because like I said, I really like Hobby Lobby and the container store too. 
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. I know that a lot of these stores aren't in other countries, so I'm sorry. So, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you are not and you, you want, want to be. be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. Okay, that's it.